Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, letter of thanks of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armina Gabrahamian, to President Joe Biden. April 24 commemoration events in France. France will continue to stand by Armenian people in defying challenges, Macron tells Pashinyan. Turkey left more than 1 million residents without drinking water. The last tour of Sivarak, Western Armenia. Massive fish decline in Tigris River. Concert dedicated to monuments preservation. Dear President, it is with great honor on behalf of all Armenians of Western Armenia that I express my deepest thanks to you for having stated in your speech of April 24, 2021 that the atrocities and crimes planned and executed by the Turkish Ottoman government from 1915 onwards should be qualified as genocide under the international law. Indeed, as stated, this Turkish Ottoman government cynically eliminated the intelligence of our indigenous people from the city of Constantinople until the annihilation of 1.5 million Armenians in its ancestral territory, Western Armenia, which was recognized as independent by the U.S. Senate on May 11, 1920. And an arbitration award defining the borders between Western Armenia and Turkey was signed by President Woodrow Wilson on November 22, 1920 and is awaiting execution. The Armenians of Western Armenia living inside and outside of Western Armenia in the same manner as the other peoples of the world demand the enforcement of their rights and the consequent reparations for the crime of genocide. Justice and respect for human rights, where everyone can pursue their lives in dignity and security for all the peoples, will bring about the healing that everyone wants. Your act of recognition of the genocide perpetrated against the Armenian people sets in the stone the presence of the United States of America by our side, for which we are grateful. Therefore, Mr. President, I reiterate my respect for you and remain at your disposal to continue building reconciliation together. Armenak Abrahamian, President of the Republic of Western Armenia. Commemoration events for the victims of the genocide against Armenians were held in Paris, the capital of France, and Lyon on April 24. The French Armenian community paid a tribute in the Canada Square near the Comitas Monument, while the delegation of the Assembly of Western Armenia, led by the President Leonardo Basmajan, held a commemoration ceremony in front of the memorial in Anthony Ponset Square. On April 24, Prime Minister of Armenia Nicole Pashinyan had a telephone conversation with French President Emmanuel Macron, the Prime Minister's office told Armand Press. The Prime Minister appreciated the role played by France in promoting the international recognition of the genocide against Armenians, which is important in terms of ruling out similar tragedies in the future. Emmanuel Macron expressed support on behalf of the French people and himself, noting that France will continue to stand by the Armenian people in defying challenges. Syrian Ministry of Foreign Affairs condemns the inhuman attitude of the Turkish military authorities towards the population of the northeastern province of Hazaka, Terdat AM reports. The Turkish military left more than 1 million residents of the city of Hazaka, the administrative center of the Syrian province of the same name without drinking water. The Turkish occupation forces and their mercenaries cut off the water supply of the city and the surrounding areas for 16 days, stopping the work of the water pumping station in Aluk, north of Hasaka, the document says. The Syrian Foreign Ministry draws the attention of the U.S. Security Council and the international community of the Red Cross to the criminal actions of Turkey, which creates unbearable conditions for the life of Syrian citizens in the northeast of the country. 69 years old Ahmed Usta, who lives in the Sivrik province of Urfa, western Armenia, has been creating art with famous bezel stones for 45 years. Noting that he learned this profession from his father, the master says that his father has also learned it from an Armenian hewer. The master told his story like this. My father was the first Armenian to learn this profession. Most of the stone structures in Gavar were built by Armenians. All Muslims were students of Armenians until 50 years ago. The masters of all professions were Armenians. We learned the trade from them. All crafts were spread by Armenians in the province. Blacksmith, carpenter, baker, coppersmith. There was no Muslim craftsman. At the moment, there is no other hewer but me. I am the only one left from the old ones. There was only one Armenian master carving on stone. When I grew up, there were very few Armenians left there. These people learned the trade from their grandfathers. Master Ahmed said that all that was left to him by the Armenians are the hand tools that carve on the stones. The master who built many mosques and houses also took part in the restoration of historical buildings. Ahmed Usta's biggest pain is that this work was lost to concrete. 
A mass decline of fish has been observed on the banks of Tigris River, Chnar, Tigranakert, Western Armenia. A large amount of dead fish was noticed by the citizens on the lake surface. One of the residents claimed that the fish decline lasted for four days in the Tigris River. According to him, our water has not been so polluted before. We used to drink this water, he said, adding that they wanted the authorities to investigate the mass deaths of fish. The Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sports of the Republic of Armenia will organize an outdoor concert in the yard of St. Anna Church in the framework of the events dedicated to the Editing International Day for Monuments and Sites, during which the Yerevan State Chamber Choir, Dagaran Ethnographic Musical Ensemble, Agape Chamber Choir and Folk Modern Orchestra of Folk Instruments will perform. Free stamps with images of historical and cultural monuments will be made public during the concert program, issued in cooperation with High Post. The aim of the event is to raise public awareness about the project. Now we present you Akunk Ensemble Haido. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.